Liquidity, liquidity, liquidity. Um, this is Boris Dorfman with LBC Capital Income Fund. And we're talking about liquidity today. Uh, where are you investing and why are you investing? Obviously, you're investing to get return. And how important is liquidity for you? You have to decide. But ability to access your money quickly when things happen uh, is important. When you invest for retirement, you can lock your money in until you're of retirement age. Uh, I don't know what it is now, like 97. And uh, you can pull those money out at that age. And it's probably not a good idea to tap your retirement money before you retire. But your day-to-day -day reserves, your business reserves, your typical investments, uh, some of it uh, has to be liquid. Uh, what are the most typical types of investments? Obviously, there is a bank account, savings account. Uh, the big one is stock market, obviously. It's extremely liquid. Bank accounts, uh, you can take money out unless it's CDs and the money is locked in. Uh, stock market, you can sell your stocks at any time. You bought your Tesla at 800 and you can sell it at 120 today. You can take a loss, but it's liquid, it's instantaneous. Uh, then you have your precious metals. If it's a paper metals, you can sell right away. Paper meaning uh, you buy exchange traded fund for gold or silver, other metals. But if you buy physical gold, it uh, may take a while to sell. Uh, um, where else people invest? Bitcoins. God, all types of investment, real estate, you buy real estate, it's not a very liquid uh, uh, investment, but it's a long-term investment. So when you make your investment decisions, you're looking for yield, you're looking for return, uh, and you're also looking for liquidity. Uh, there is short-term investments, there is mid-term investments, and there is long-term investments. Uh, you cannot buy real estate unless you're a developer or you want to do a fix and flip. Uh, with a short-term uh, time horizon. Uh, one of the best rules in real estate, the when to sell is you sell never. So real estate is definitely a long-term investment. And then you have uh, private funds like ours, like LBC Capital Income Fund, uh, where uh, you put your money in and they're locked in for a certain period of time uh, per documents. Uh, our uh, LBC Capital Income Fund wants you to hold your money in a fund for at least one year. And there's other funds like ours, and some of these funds, they have a five, seven year lock-in period with another five, seven year uh, extension. And some of these funds, they have uh, penalties for early withdrawals, almost all of them do. And uh, almost all of them uh, can lock your money in for longer at the sole discretion of uh, the fund manager. Uh, many of you uh, might have heard that uh, Blackstone, the biggest money manager in the world, recently, or BlackRock, I keep mixing those two, uh, they have a $69 billion uh, real estate fund or real estate debt fund that they just gated uh, the redemptions. The process when uh, fund manager locks in money for an indefinite period of time, it's called gating the fund. So um, they just came out announcing that they will not fulfill withdrawals or if they will, it's going to be uh, a fraction. And uh, for those people uh, whose lock-in period passed, uh, uh, it happens in uncertain periods and it also happens when a lot of investors withdraw their money. Anyways, before I bore you to death, uh, uh, you know, the big boys out there, when you decide to invest with uh, Black Rocks and Fidelities, you know, the hedge funds out there, uh, check out their redemption policy, check out their lock-in period, and uh, kind of see what kind of liquidity you need. Um, that's all. Call me, 323, or don't call me. Um, Anyway, subscribe to this channel and yeah, liquidity is very important. And tomorrow the CPI is coming out uh, for month of December and I'm going to do an update tomorrow. I'm going to do another video tomorrow. Uh, we project uh, CPI dropping by another almost half a percent 
and let's see how the markets react. Uh, if CPI comes in in line with the expectations, uh, we're going to be about flat. If CPI comes in lower than expectations, uh, then the markets will rally. Uh, CPI is consumer price index and uh, it's, uh, it's tied to the inflation where inflation is the closest uh, watched. It's the biggest word out there uh, in the past year. Anyways, thank you guys. Subscribe down below and I'll see you uh, next time.